Hey guys, iMovie How To here, and today I'll be showing you how you can use the green screen feature in iMovie 10.1. So here's an example of what we'll make with this tutorial. So to get started, I'll first cover some tips when shooting green screen video. In this example here, I used a green fabric backdrop, but something like a green bed sheet or a piece of paper would work just fine in this situation too. So when filming your clip, it's a good idea in general, just to lock the exposure, focus, and white balance. Specifically in the iOS camera app, you can achieve this by long pressing on a specific point for a couple of seconds. Once the exposure is locked, you can also fine tune the brightness by sliding the sun icon up and down. Once you've finished filming your green screen clip, you'll need to import the clip and a background image into iMovie. So I'll just do that right now by clicking on the import button on the top here. Navigating to the folder where I put it, selecting the files I need, and pressing on the Import All button. So once it's imported into the project, you first need to drag the background clip or image you want to be in the background of your green screen. So I'll just click on it, select it, and drag it into my project. The next thing I want to do is change the length of my background image. So I'll do that by going to the I tab up here and in the duration box, I'll change it to 15 seconds. I can then go to this slider here and make the thumbnail interval larger so I can see the whole clip. So the next thing I need to do is select the green screen clip itself. So I'll select it by clicking and dragging the amount of seconds I want to include. So I'll take this green screen clip and drag it so it's positioned right on top of the background clip. Then click on the green screen clip itself and in the options panel right here, click on the first icon. Then where you see this drop down where it says cutaway, click on it and then select the green blue screen option. So now the green should be keyed out of the clip, but not everything is removed though. There's still some shadows left. So I'm gonna resize the viewfinder so I can see this a bit better. So what I'll do to remove these extra shadows and things that weren't removed automatically is to use the eraser tool. So I'll click on the eraser icon and with the eraser tool, I'll click out the certain parts where there are shadows. So you just click on these areas until all the shadows around it are gone. So next, you want to go to the clipping tool. So we'll use this tool to cut out the corners at the bottom of our green screen clip so they aren't visible in the image. So what I'll do is I'll drag these corners to a point so the background of the green screen clip isn't visible anymore. So once you're done with all your green screen clip edits, just press on the check button on the corner of the window here. And once you do that, all the edits are saved. So currently we have a clean keyed out green screen effect, but now we need to align both elements so we can complete our effect. So for the background, I'll use the cropping tool to align the image to the relative size of the cars. So what I first want to do is take it out of the Ken Burns effect. And I want to do that by clicking on this crop to fill button so the image is static. Once it's in this mode, what we can do is resize our frame window and basically do a little bit of trial and error to see how to scale the car and the background image together. So I'm just making small minute adjustments to the cropping window each time so the cars can fit on the roadway. So after the image is aligned, the effect is basically done. So what's left is to add some extra effects to it, such as motion. So one way I can do that is by using a Ken Burns animation. So I can go back to the cropping tab, select Ken Burns, and here I can adjust the end box so it's a similar size to the start box, and then enlarge it just slightly so it mimics the, the perspective of the image. So then so I'll just press on the check to see if the effect is all aligned. So let's just quickly match the length of the green screen clip to the background image. So if the effect isn't completely aligned, I can just go back to the image and align it just slightly so it will fit. So basically now our final effect is done. So we can press the spacebar to preview it. So that's basically it about how to do green screen in iMovie 10.1. One extra thing is that if you want to try the green screen effect without 
filming any sample clips yourself, you can download all the sample clips I'm using for this tutorial in the description below. So thank you for watching this iMovie tutorial. If you want to see the video I made about how to add music to iMovie or the video I made about how I can duck audio in iMovie, click on the annotations above or click on the links in the description. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.